What's going on YouTube? Uh, today we are going to be making a video on the life stages of a cattle dog. Uh, I thought it'd be kind of some good insight now that Cowboy's a little over three years old to just kind of go over what the process has kind of been like um, and, and what the journey's kind of looked like um, through the different life stages. So as you can see, he's sleeping. This is sleepy time. They do sleep occasionally, um, but I'm just gonna kind of go over the general dog life stage timeline that that's pretty familiar to a lot of people um and then we'll kind of dive into the specifics of how that applied to cowboy and some other cattle dogs that i'm familiar with but before we do what do they have to do cowboy you guys gotta hit like and subscribe all right come on right there that button also if you guys haven't seen yet if you're not in cattle dog academy you can still buy this t-shirt. People who sign up got one for free, and you still can, but it's a cattle dog on the back. It's pretty sick. I'll put a link in the description below. All right, everyone, I am going to kind of just be looking at my phone because uh, I apologize for that in advance, but there's some good stuff on here as far as just kind of breaking down the timeline and life stages um, for all dogs, but specifically how that applies to a cattle dog. So, you know, I mean, between zero to four weeks, um, that's nothing that necessarily concerns you so much. That's more so, you know, the dog's sense of taste and touch, uh, starting, they're really totally relying on their mother. Um, you know, their sensory development starts to kind of develop, um, hearing, sense of smell, those razor sharp puppy teeth are gonna start peeking through, um, and their eyes will begin to open up. Um, so it's really, three to five weeks you still haven't met your puppy yet probably um but they are going to start to become aware of their surroundings much more and have the ability to start to develop relationships with people um specifically probably you know the breeder the breeder's kids family people coming over visiting them um so this is really where puppies get familiar with kind of day-to-day -day noises um you know, such as TVs, vacuum cleaners, telephones. This is where a responsible breeder really comes into play. And, you know, they'll turn on the radio, like in the same room as the puppies, or they'll vacuum next to the puppies, or they'll play fireworks on TV next to the puppies and really try and get them used to as many different noises and things like that as possible. Um, so, you know, they're really just learning to interact with each other. They're starting to play with their litter mates, which is huge. Um, you know, learning those doggy social skills and exploring just kind of, you know, like a pack hierarchy um, and just learning to play well with others. So a lot of curiosity on uh, these guys' parts because everything is new um, and that will develop into biting and mouthing, but you know, it's part of it. And uh, their mother should put them in their place. All right, seven to nine weeks old. Uh, this is the stage when their senses are pretty much all there and they will be ready to go to their new homes. I got Cowboy at nine weeks old. Um, I think pretty much every dog we've ever had, we've gotten around eight weeks old. I don't think we've gotten any sooner than that. Um, you really want them to stay with their litter and their puppies. I mean, their litter mates and their mom um, up until that stage because it really does help develop their kind of doggy social skills um, and just learning from their, their siblings, right? So bring your puppy home seven to sometimes 12 weeks old even. Um, that's right in the middle of this key socialization period, okay? Uh, therefore, you know, it's vital in this stage to introduce your puppy to as many new dogs, people, objects, surroundings as you can. Um, but this is also the time when you have to be really careful and control those various uh, environments and situations the best that you can because um, you don't want them to get injured. You don't want them to have a bad relationship or bad interaction with another dog. Um, you know, you don't want them to be scared of anything um, or you don't want them to get a disease. Um, you know, parvo, whatever it may be, um, or some nasty dog park disease. So it's a time to be really careful, but also kind of strategic in what you guys are doing at this age. Um, they soak everything up like a sponge. Uh, you know, they say you can't teach an old dog new tricks and you know, it's, you can, but 
you can teach a lot more <laughs> to a young puppy just because they're absorbing everything so much in this stage. Um, and that's why especially socialization is so important because you know if they learn something that they don't like or they have a bad interaction at this age or no interaction at this age, um, that can really lead to problems down the road when they're full grown. Another thing to consider uh, at, at this age is crate training. Uh, you know, I crate trained Cowboy. He only had, he pooped in the house once. He was potty trained within the first three days I had him. So, uh, not to brag, but it, I do think it works. I do think it helps with these type of dogs who can be kind of prone to separation anxiety um, and just developing traits that allow them to be confident and in, in being left alone. Um, and you know, now I leave Cowboy's crate open for him. I don't lock him in it anymore, but uh, you know, he just goes in it and hangs out and it's like his little cave um, and he really enjoys it. So something to consider introducing them to at this stage um, and just getting them used to being on their own every now and then. So it's really important to get your dog around as many different people as possible, especially kids, um, kids that you know preferably um, and you know you have to teach the kids how to interact with them too but for some reason you know kids give off a different energy than adults um, but yeah get around as many different adults as possible as many dogs that you trust as possible um, to create positive interactions um, you know this is a time also where they're going to be starting to use their mouth a lot uh, the biting is going to be coming out uh, my hands were all scratched up from this dude's razor teeth when he was a puppy. Um, but just expect it, be ready for it. Um, and we have some other videos on how to kind of redirect that and, and shape that out of them. But um, it's just part of the process. Overall, this stage is really about curiosity. Um, you know, they're going to just want to explore a little bit more, just kind of see what's going on and, and put all kinds of things in their mouth and that they shouldn't. And they kind of have to learn and you just kind of have to let them learn and, and supervise um, to make sure they don't do anything that'll hurt their health. But uh, it's, a, it's a fun time. It's a fun time with these little rascals and not to mention they're pretty darn cute. So the testing period, <laughs> um, three to six months. Um, you know, this is when they're really gonna start to test the boundaries within their own little world. Um, they're gonna test the limits with their owners, they're gonna test the limits with other animals, kind of see what they can get away with. Um, so this is really an important stage to start to introduce more manners, um, more kind of structured behavior in my opinion. Um, you know, a lot of kind of problematic behaviors can start to arise at this age if you don't get ahead of it. Uh, so, you know, if you haven't done so already, make sure you go into like a puppy class to get your dog around as many other dogs as possible. Um, you know, the puppy class isn't about like teaching anything specific necessarily. It's more so just about socializing and getting them around other dogs. Um, and then from there, there are older classes that you can kind of start to go to. If you haven't done any yet, guys, I really recommend finding some in your area um, just to help you kind of do it at least the first time and uh, go through that process. These dogs love to learn um, and it's going to help you learn kind of the things you need to do as well. Um, but if you have absolutely no clue and you don't want to go to an in-person class, we do have virtual training videos, cattledogacademy.com. I'll put the link in the description below. Uh, it's currently $9 to sign up. So you guys can afford nine bucks, right? Um, we want to make it as accessible to people as possible. So uh, Cattle Dog Academy, I'll put that down below. But anyways, so yeah, this is the time you're going to want to start to enforce kind of more manners. Um, and really build that solid foundation for an adult dog because when they get to a year old, boy, we'll be talking about that one. Um, but at this stage, you're gonna go through a lot of teething. Um, you know, chewing is a common side effect, it says. Um, let's see, let's see. You just wanna make sure they have, you know, plenty of things they're supposed to chew on. Um, what else? They're usually finished teething by the age of six months when the upper fangs or canine teeth come in. So, you know, this is a stage when I thought I had a little Velociraptor was truly starting to show his true dinosaur form. Um, you know, they, they have more energy and you'll find that, you know, when you first got them around like eight to 12 weeks, they would sleep most of the day. And then now they're starting to not sleep a lot less uh, and they can just kind of keep the keep it going. So you're going to want to start to introduce some lighter exercise for sure. Um, and just wait until you get to six to 18 months. 
six to 18 months. This was hands down the single hardest time frame with this dog. Uh, he was just, I guess you could call this adolescence. Uh, where are you going? What? Are you so perfect. You're still not perfect, are you? Sit down. The people want to see you. What are you doing? All right. He doesn't like it when I talk smack about him. But you're a jerk at a year old. You know that? I put up with a lot. I put up with a lot with this dog. All right, so six to 18 months, they are officially adolescents. Um, like I said, guys, this was the single hardest time period of, uh, of owning this dude. He was a rascal. Um, you know, they really test you. It's almost like everything you learned. <laughs> what are you doing? Um, he wants to go play. But it's almost like everything you taught before then just goes out the freaking window. Uh, they forget it all. And um, it's really important that you stay consistent during this time and you just don't give up because, um, I mean, this was a time period where was like, I was like, oh my gosh, what did I get into? Um, you know, maybe I need to, I even consider like, like, can I handle this dog? Um, which, you know, I, I eventually used learn that you just have to stick with it. And I found the things that you need to do to stick with it, but it was really hard. Um, and I'm just being honest and some dogs aren't as difficult, but my gosh, she was hard. <laughs> um, so the good news is that I found and, and Cowboy is the smallest dog breed I've ever had. And typically the larger the dog, the slower the development. And he actually, you know, they develop rather quickly. So that means you can do a little bit more exercise than you could sooner than you would with like, say, a Great Dane or like a, a Bernese Mountain Dog or something like that. Just drooled on me. All right, so some common signs of puberty in canines around this age with males, you know, it's balls down. Uh, scent marking or raising his leg. Um, they become a little less friendly maybe um, to everyone and they start to kind of become a little bit more protective. You start to see the guarding instincts come out more. Um, some might be more interested in roaming and less interested in obeying. Um, they, like I said, are gonna lift their leg more and some can become a little aggressive towards other males. Um, with females, uh, it's usually you know, the start of their first heat cycle, erratic behavior, moody, lethargic, shows aggression. Sounds like my girlfriend. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding, ladies. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, with Cowboy, I definitely would say that is true. Like his, his guarding instincts came out for sure. Um, he used to be when he was super responsive to training that kind of went out the window when he saw like another dog just kind of be like flip me the bird sometimes um he didn't lift his leg and try and mark stuff a ton but you know it happened and he never became aggressive with other dogs um but that's because i spent a lot of time getting around other dogs as possible so um you know these things aren't foolproof um guaranteed but I'd also be ready for other things you know like Resource guarding can be one, lack of respect or response, um, sometimes running around with excess energy and just like bouncing off the walls, um, starting kind of more sexual behavior with other dogs of the opposite sex. They may start to challenge humans um, and just be kind of assholes. So uh, fear period also, you know, between 14 to 18 months, I'll say they can develop some kind of, um, well, I guess there's, so there's more than one fear period that could possibly develop, right? It says eight to 10 weeks, four to six months, nine months, 14 to 18 months. So that's like the whole freaking time. Um, so I'm just gonna say that between the time you get your puppy until around a year and a half, uh, or 18 months, somewhere like that, they are going to be subject to, they're very easily influenced. Um, so during this, really this whole time, it's really important to just socialize, 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 build as many positive associations with things as possible and let them see as many things as you can. So, Cowboy is three now. Uh, he turned three last month 
and I can definitely, definitely notice a difference. Um, you know, he went from being just a total wild animal to actually turning into a pretty well-behaved dog, but it's only because, you know, I stayed really consistent with training, um, really consistent with socialization. We still do it. I still take him to run errands. I still take him to Home Depot. You know, I do all kinds of stuff with him and uh, I get him around dogs still. Um, we practice obedience still. Uh, and it's really important that you guys just stay consistent with it. Um, if you want your dog to turn out pretty good when they're older. So I hope this kind of helps give you guys some insight into just the different stages that you're probably gonna go through or some variation of it at different levels, right? Um, just kind of give you some idea, I guess. Uh, you know, you've either already gone through this or you are getting or thinking about getting a puppy or you got a puppy and, and you're about to go through it. So um, that's what we're here for, just trying to help you all. Uh, improve your relationships with your dog. So if you haven't yet, please hit like and subscribe and always feel free to comment, uh, you know, ideas for further videos and stuff. Um, that's always appreciated too. So uh, stick with it guys. If you're, uh, you got the young one, enjoy it. Take as many pictures and videos as possible because uh, it goes by really fast and it's fun to look back on. So we will see you guys in the next video. Jack and Cowboy signing off.